But when you practice jhana, you are amazed how many things there are that aren't so. Because when you stop talking to yourself, and you are simply aware of what is, that is to say of what you feel, what you sense, and even that saying too much, you suddenly find that the past and the future have completely disappeared. So also have disappeared the so-called differentiation between the knower and the known, the subject and the object, the feeler and the feeling, the thinker and the thought. They just aren't there because uh, you have to talk to yourself to maintain those things. They are purely conceptual. They are ideas. They are phantoms, ghosts. So when you allow thinking to stop, all that goes away. And you find you're in an eternal here and now. And there's no way you're supposed to be. There's nothing you're supposed to do. There's no way you're supposed to go. Because in order to think you're supposed to do something, you have to think. And so it's incredibly important to unthink at least once a day. For the very preservation of the intellectual life. So if we stop that temporarily and get our mind clear of thoughts, we become, as Jesus said, again as children and get a direct view of the world, which is very useful once you're an adult. It's not much you can do with it when you're a baby because everybody pushes you around. And you know, they pick you up and sit you there, they sit you there. And you can't do much except practice contemplation. <laughs> Only you, you can't tell anyone what it's like. But when, as an adult, you can recapture the baby's point of view, you will know what all child psychologists have always wanted to know, how it is that a baby feels. And the baby, according to Freud at least, has the oceanic experience. That is to say, a feeling of complete inseparability from what's going on. The baby is unable to distinguish between the universe and his or her action upon the universe. And most of us, if we got into that state of consciousness, might be inclined to feel extremely frightened. Uh, and being beginning to ask, uh, who's in charge? I mean, uh, who controls what happens next? We would ask that because we are used to the idea that the process of nature consists of controllers and controllees. Things that do and things that are done to. This is purely mythological. So therefore, to everyone who is in quest of the supreme kick, <laughs> the great experience, the vision of God, whatever you want to call it, liberation. When you think that you're not it, any old guru can sell you on a method to find it. And that may not be a bad thing for him to do because as Blake said, a fool who persists in his folly will become wise. So long as you can be persuaded that there's something more that you ought to be than you are, you've divided yourself from reality, from the universe, from God, or whatever you want to call that, the tat in tat famasi. To be truly realized, you have to get to the point where you're not seeking anymore. So then you begin to think, well, we, 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 will, we will now be non-seekers. <laughs> you know, like disciples of Krishnamurti, who, <laughs> because he says he doesn't read any spiritual books, they can't read anything but mystery stories. <laughs> you, you know, uh, becoming uh, spiritually unspiritual. Well, you find that that too 
is what is called in Zen, legs on a snake. It's irrelevant. You don't need not to see. Because you don't need anything. We have to have something to hang on to. Who does? And eventually you discover, of course, that it's not necessary to hang on to anything, to rely on anything. There's nothing to rely on. Because you're it. It's like the universe. It's like asking the question, where is the universe? And by that I mean the whole universe. <laughs> Whereabouts is it in space? Everything in it is falling around everything else, but there's no concrete floor underneath for the thing to crash. Because the space, you can think of infinite space if you like, you don't have to think of curved space. The space that goes out and out and out forever and ever and has no end, what is that? Of course it's you. What else could it be? Now, you see, if you understand what I'm saying with your intelligence, and then take the next step and say, but I understood it now, but I didn't feel it. Then next I raise the question, why do you want to feel it? You say, I want something more, because that's again that spiritual greed. And you could only say that because you didn't understand it. There is nothing to pursue because you're it. And if you don't know that, you always were it. And if you don't know that, in other words, to put it in Christian terms or Jewish terms, if you don't know that you're God from the beginning, what happens is that you try to become God by force. Therefore, you start being violent and obstreperous and this and that and the other. All our violence, all our competitiveness, all our terrific anxiety to survive is because we didn't know from the beginning that we were it. Well, then you would say if we did know from the beginning, as in fact you did, when you were a baby, but then everybody says, well, nothing would ever happen. But if that is the case, if Hindus, and really awakened Hindus, by the knowledge of their union with the Godhead would simply become inert. Why then Hindu music? The most incredibly complex, marvelous technique. When they sit and play, they laugh at each other. They're enjoying themselves enormously with these very complicated musical games. But when we come and the symphony orchestra gets up, everybody dresses in evening dress, the most serious expression, and all the audience is down, and you know, it's like it's in a kind of church. And there's none of that terrific zest where the drummer, the tabla player, laughs at the sarod player as they compete with each other in all kinds of marvelous improvisations. So if you do find out, by any chance, who you really are. <laughs> you, instead of becoming merely lazy, you know, you start laughing. And laughing leads to dancing. And dancing needs music. And we can play with each other for a change. 